Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get into the Bitcoin flash crash and of course flashed across the rest of the cryptocurrency market. We're going to take a deeper look at Cardano and just how well it is holding up against the other cryptocurrencies. Dive into a little bit of news and check out our portfolio. So stick around for that at the end of the video. If you enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon. If you find value from the video, leave us a like down below. Let's dive in to the video. If you're one of the smart ones who don't check their portfolio every five minutes, then you probably miss the flash crash. It happened within about seven to 10 minutes on Bitcoin. Currently in the last 24 hours, we are down about 8% and on Ethereum, we're down about 10%. Binance 13, Cardano holding up very well at only 2% down from its close, which was only a few hours ago. Polkadot 6%, total market cap, we have dipped under that 1.7, we're at 1%. 0.58 trillion and Bitcoin has dipped under the one trillion dollar market cap. So currently at fifty two thousand dollars. So if you've missed it, don't worry. It's looking pretty solid. We've had a nice bounce back off support levels, which were previously resistance. We'll check those out on the chart as well. But let's have a look at Google Trend Words. I have Ethereum and Cardano in the search engine here. This is for uh, the US. And Ethereum is currently sitting at its all time high search volume for the past 90 days. I dare say that's the same for the uh, 12 months, but let's just have a look at Cardano first. Cardano is also at its highest point. Obviously it says 35 there because it's comparing itself against Ethereum. But Cardano has made up a lot of ground against Ethereum as well. You can see here previously it was around 25 to 76. So what's one third of Ethereum search volume. We're still at one third, but we're slowly climbing towards Ethereum very slowly, but we're getting there. So this is good news for Ethereum holders. Now, of course, I got my red Ethereum shirt on today. We've had a bit of a crash. Anywho, we're going to get over to the charts in just a sec. Now, fear and greed 94. The Bitcoin flash crash happened all at midnight of UTC. So this was all in a one hour bar. Everything happened from $54,000 thereabouts all the way down to $47,400. In the whole day, it was about an $11,000 drop. So the biggest in a dollar cents in Bitcoin's history. However, in a percentage, seems like just another day in Bitcoin. Now, this is on the hourly chart. You know, we don't look at these very often. I'm just noticing a small pattern here where we've had a dip. This is the wick. We've had a nice uh, swing, a higher swing low try to push on again and it's failed. So we've just crushed under the swing low here. So we'll see it easier on a bar chart. There's the swing low, swing high, tried to rally and it's failed. So this is an hourly chart, which means we might have further downside from this point. We're not very far from the low uh, that we set last night. If we take a measured move, it's only about 9% away, eight and a half, nine percent from the current price. Sounds like a lot, but I don't think it's that far away. And looking at this pattern, if it's to play out on bigger time frames, then we could see lower prices on Bitcoin. We've definitely needed this washout. People were over leveraged. Everything was getting really bubbly. So having a nice washout is very, very healthy for the market. I'd love to see a hell of a lot more of a washout, but in a sustained approach to the market. We don't want to see the end of a bull market. And I don't think we're going to be at that point, but no one has a crystal ball. This is just what we're looking at. We're going to go to the macro timeframes to make sure that we're still holding our position. So Bitcoin on the weekly, we have been up one, two, three, four weeks. We've gone straight up. Previously, we had one, two, three, four weeks as well. So we're on track here. This was the last swing that Bitcoin broke the previous low. And then from that, one, two, three, four. We are doing the same thing again. One, two, three, four up weeks. We're in an inside week at the moment. We haven't broken the high. We haven't broken the low. So we're still on track for a solid bull market. Now let's have a look at the daily before we move on to Cardano and Ethereum, just to look at how strong Cardano is holding up against this. But when painting the picture for what happened last night on the drop. So that was the daily uh, bar there. We did close above the 50%. So that's what I've got this fib in here for. The straight line fib, we're above the 50%. There was the close for Bitcoin, which is pretty solid. This day is only a few hours in, so I'd love to see it. Just test some of these other support levels or the old resistance and then bounce back up. That's 
a good case scenario to have a sustained move sideways and potentially get the moving average to catch up, those sort of things. So Bitcoin still looking reasonably healthy. Quick look at Ethereum before we touch on Cardano. Ethereum did drop to 1500. So it would have been an okay time to be picking up some more cheaper Ethereum. We definitely want to see Ethereum hold these levels at around 1000 to 1100. That would be the point that I would start to get a little concern that this market is not holding its position. Reason being is this was the major drop that we saw before the market began to uh, accumulate and begin to slowly break up. Now that was on very, very high volume, which means there was a lot of support at around the 900 to a thousand dollar level. So if we came back to that and broke it, then these big buyers are seeing something that we're not seeing. They might maybe seeing that the value in Ethereum isn't there anymore. And we, uh, we definitely don't wanna be in the market if the big hands aren't holding the market. So looking further back, we don't see any other volume that was as big as that day. So pay attention to around the 11th of January. That's the date that we are really paying close attention to. So Cardano versus Bitcoin, it is holding above its resistance level. So we're possibly using it as support. We zoom in, this is a daily chart. We've had one close above, one close under, one close above. Each time the volume is getting, well, this is dropping, but this was a down day against the inside. And so we're waiting on the close for today's bar. We would love to see this close above the resistance level and hopefully make it support. So anything above this 1945 Satoshis, great news for Cardano. So that's Bitcoin. It's holding its ground in a time where everything else was dropping 10, 20%. Bitcoin dropped this day and Cardano managed to gain ground against its Bitcoin value from the previous day. Great news. Cardano versus Binance, we were looking at this just a couple of videos ago. Check that out on the channel. Uh, I might leave a playlist actually for the Cardano video so that will help you guys check out all the rest of the Cardano content on the channel just to track along to see how we're progressing with our price analysis and projections. So Cardano, Binance, BNB, why are we measuring this against other cryptocurrencies as opposed to USD? It's because we want to make sure that if we are holding Cardano, that it is increasing in value faster than the other altcoins and it's increasing against Bitcoin. Otherwise, if it's only increasing against USD, then of course, Bitcoin, we suspect that's going to increase in value as well. We might as well just hold Bitcoin because they're both increasing at a similar rate, except Cardano may be losing ground against its Bitcoin value. So that's the reason why we look at altcoins. And I did a video on this just a couple of videos ago where I compared the smart contracts of Cardano, Polkadot, Binance, and Ethereum and explained how we look at different cryptocurrencies against each other. So this is why it's important to ensure that we are gaining ground against other major cryptos. So at the moment, Cardano, BNB, we are up. We're looking reasonably solid. It looks like we've put in a very good low here. So I really like to look at that for uh, the strength of Cardano. We've looked at Bitcoin. It's looking strong, especially when Bitcoin dumped. We've looked at BNB. It's uh, looking very strong. Obviously, the volume is, is huge down here. If you can't see that, that's massive volume. That's that's very big. Biggest that we've ever seen on Cardano versus BNB. And that's at a low. We've bounced right back, come back above the old uh, resistance, which was support. So that's another good level, another good sign. I really like that. And of course, BNB is one of the leaders at the moment. Cardano versus Ethereum. We broke above that. That was the really big news on that previous video a couple of days ago. Looking fantastic. And it is holding above that resistance level. The only day that it closed below the resistance level was a very small inside day on low volume. So it doesn't look like the sellers came in to scare the market. So that's a good sign. It came back, tested the old resistance level back here as well. This is the major one, which is the horizontal line. Market bounced up, came back, tested it right here. If I take this magnet off, that's what we're looking at. And now we're above the resistance again, the major resistance. The major resistance is pinned to all the previous tops that we've seen on Cardano versus Ethereum. So this is big news if we can break out of this and potentially shoot to some new highs. We could be doubling, maybe even tripling our Ethereum value against Cardano. So that's very good news. Last one we'll have a look at, Cardano versus US dollar. We are again above one USD. We spiked down yesterday. 
to 80 cents. 81 cents, maybe you caught it. Let me know in the comments, did you catch the 80 cent Cardano yesterday on that big drop? Otherwise, it's still looking like a great time. It's setting up above our previous resistance and it's looking like support. So that's another good sign. All of these lines were from our, from our previous video because we're looking at the high volume on the breaks, the reaccumulation, the high volume again on the breaks. We want to see this hold. Otherwise, this little level through here is going to be our test. If we can't maintain above around that 80 cent, then we could be in trouble. But everything is looking great. Cardano, USD, Cardano, Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin, Cardano, Binance. This is looking fantastic. So. I'm going to show at the end, uh, we're going to add to our portfolio again on Cardano. Taking a look at a little bit of news, we've got Purpose Bitcoin ETF surpasses 400 million in assets under management. Now we're just going to look at the headlines, a few of the details, because this is important for the space. We didn't have any Bitcoin ETFs up until a month or two months ago, and now we are seeing 400 million in assets under management. Huge signs for the bullishness of the market overall. Why would people be coming into ETFs with 400 million, potentially going up to a billion dollars, I saw in one article, uh, when we are looking like we could be crashing out of the air. I think this is another positive sign and it's just more reason for the support in the recent flash crash. Next piece I've got here is uh, Bitcoin trades in record 11,000 daily range after dropping from 58. So we had another spike down. And like we just saw on the Bitcoin chart, it may be a short lived bounce. So it might be a dead cat bounce, but I'm quite hopeful that long term we're going to be getting out of this pretty well. So we've just seen it begin to reverse as I'm filming this video. We, I didn't want to see it break down and close below these levels. This is only on an hourly. We definitely want to see it come back above the 52,000 to maintain this shorter term time frame. All right, this is what I was looking at earlier. Massively over leveraged. Could crypto's retail traders create systemic risk? So essentially, it's just looking like there is a whole lot of people who are over leveraged. They get washed out. Uh, I don't have the rest of the article here, but essentially it's all in the title. It, if you've ever looked around and seen how many people are trying to trade Bitcoin on a leveraged position, I think it's absolutely nuts. And especially as the market continues to go up, it just gets riskier and riskier. You don't have a new reset starting point to begin your trades from, and you're basically leveraging from these higher positions. So when the market just dips, tiny little bit against your position, depending on how highly leveraged you are, you can get washed out. And this washout bar has taken out a lot of people who are leveraged. So anyone who's basically had their stops from around this point up got washed out from there. So if you're leveraged long here and you had your stops back here, 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 you've all been washed out. Bitcoin is now more expensive than a kilogram of gold. Obviously, this was uh, a few hours earlier than the crash, so it's out of date already. But basically, when we get back to the fifty-seven or fifty-eight thousand dollar Bitcoin, one kilo of gold is going to be cheaper than one Bitcoin. Absolutely wild. I bring this up in 2017. The talk was around Bitcoin being more expensive than one ounce of gold. Now we are seeing Bitcoin being more expensive than one kilogram of gold. Crazy how times change so quickly. Sorry to Peter Schiff. Binance faces outages as Bitcoin price crashes by 13%. Exchange suspends ETH withdrawals. They suspend the ETH withdrawal. So this is important why you should always have multiple exchanges set up just in case one goes down. I've talked about it on previous videos, which is why I always speak about the Aussie exchanges and I have multiple of them. If you need any of those links, I have them in the description down below. So you can use those with uh, a referral links down there. I was going to say withdrawal links there. They're referral links. So check those out. Binance, the biggest platform to be trading cryptocurrencies went down through that period. They're also down last week, but it's just crazy times. This is cryptocurrency. This is what happens when it gets crazy. So make sure you set up when we have some quiet times so they can get your account ready to go. With that said, uh, if we're selling some crypto and we want to get to some returns on it, we can get up to 8.6% on APY. This is with BlockFi. Some guys have been asking about it because I use crypto.com a lot, but I look at these guys as like a safe haven place just to hold the crypto and get the 8%. Whereas I like to use crypto.com as an everyday account so I can be transferring between uh, the card and paying for stuff. Whereas Block BlockFi is basically like the vault, just keeping it on there and building my positions as I sell them off from altcoins into Bitcoin or into USDT. If I want to have some of that on the sideline, earning my 8%, 
I can do that. So if you do deposit, you get up to $250 in crypto bonuses with a deposit of $25 or more. So the structure is 25 bucks, $15 in BTC. Not too bad. You gotta have it in there for about a month or so. So just be aware of that. Uh, if you do deposit up to $20,000, you get $250 of Bitcoin. So this is the tier here. Check it out if you want to use it as a savings account for your crypto or your stable coins and earn your 8.6% per annum because you're taking some profits off the table as the market goes up. Smart thinking and now you're earning 8% on your money. Uh, I've got the link to this in the description down below. Otherwise you use blockfi.com forward slash JP. Let's take a quick look at SwiftX and our account. We started at 13,000, near the top of the market, mind you. We're only up 9%. Let's work on this a little more. We have Band, BTC, Reef, which we're waiting on to pump, Ethereum, and ADA. So today, I want to look at more ADA. Let's go and buy some more ADA. We've had a bit of a fall, so we're gonna go and buy. We've got about 30% in AUD, so that's gonna give us about 30% of 14 grand, so four or five grand. We want Cardano, it's in our list over here. I'm gonna buy $1,500 of Cardano. That gives me 1,100 ADA, confirm buy. Uh, I also liked Ethereum after that bit of a fall because I think we're gonna go on a, a, on a pretty decent run for Ethereum. Let's get ourselves another half in Ethereum. So that's about $1,100. Excellent. And we'll wrap it up on that. So we'll uh, we'll come back to it and add some more coins to it. I wanna see if we can get this account to $100,000 by the end of the year. I think we'll do it sooner if the altcoin seasons continue to pump for a little bit longer. Otherwise, I'm quite happy getting around 100 grand by the end of the year. We can make it to 130 with 10 x our money there. So that's the goal with this account right here. We're at uh, almost $14,000 starting from 13,000 at a near top of the market. So it's where a lot of people have started because of course everyone gets in when it's a little bit too late. So let's see if we can do it from a, uh, a market top. That's it for today's video. Cardano looking very sweet. That's why I put some more into this account over here. Uh, Ethereum, this is a demo account mind you. All right, so if you do wanna trade with uh, not real money, test it out, use the demo account on SwiftX, really easy to use. So yeah, you can basically learn what you're doing before you go and throw a whole lot of money into the markets because at the end of the day it's your call it's not financial advice uh, i'll wrap that video up there guys if you found some value from it leave us a like down below let's try and get the video to 1500 likes let's smash that like button it goes a long way to helping out the channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't already doing a lot on cardano ethereum polka dot all the good stuff and of course uh, investing and rotating our profits into other investment assets as the cycle continues. Join us on Instagram. I post my retirement fund uh, portfolio updates on a daily basis and do Q&A over there. So I've got the Instagram link down below. Hit that. I'll see you guys over on Instagram and on the channel on the next YouTube video. Until then, remember to have more fun to get more done. Peace out.